2023 has been filled with some absolutely amazing games for the Nintendo Switch. And 2024 looks promising so far as well. With all of these great AAA games, sometimes you need a palate cleanser. Or maybe in the case of my family, your kids are complaining they don't have anything to play. In these moments, you might just be looking for something affordable with hours of gameplay for a car ride to grandma's house this Christmas. We can say with absolute confidence that Zuzu My Pet Golf Dash is definitely that game. Special thanks to Red Deer Games for providing an early access review code. Our thoughts and opinions are our own, and with that said, I'm Craig with Out of Control Games, and this is our review of Zuzu My Pet Golf Dash. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the Zuzu, it's a popular Korean brand making its way to the West. Terry, Boo, Kung, and Ta are not your everyday pets. They love to play around even during the most mundane tasks, and this game is one example of this. Up front, we immediately thought this was going to be a mini golf game, but it is so much more than that. This game is a great example of genres blending in a great way. Part WarioWare, Katamari, and Monkey Ball, they blend extremely well together. Well, in the main menu, it might look like there are four different gameplay modes at first. It's actually the level packs you'll be unlocking as you start with golf and work your way level to level. You may also notice you can change your character. This just changes the background color and who appears in the menus and does not affect gameplay at all. In golf, you start off as a golf ball in a very low stakes game of mini golf. There's no par requirement, which makes this a great low key game for adults or kids. Quickly. You go from mini golf to running away from a plunger, launching items into an outhouse, and flipping a pizza to the end of the level. Some of these levels can be frustrating in the golf stages. You do have hazards you need to avoid. Sometimes falling off a stage, dodging forks, knives, and falling boxes. Also, some of these stages can be absolutely frustrating. For instance, the pizza flipping stage made me want to rage. At the same time, when I finished the level, it was such a relief. Each level can bring something different and breaks the rhythm of just getting to the end of the stage. Especially the hand me paper level, when you're literally throwing toilet paper in a plunger to the character in the outhouse. Something that kids and men of all ages will still find funny no matter how old we are. After the golf stages, you unlock the food stages and the game gets wilder at this point. You'll find yourself getting food to the end of stages, but also battling hot dogs and rolling up forks and knives just like in a Katamari game. Easily, the best level in this set of stages is Salt and Run. As an F-Zero fan, this was absolutely a blast to play over and over. Even in the deaths, they were my fault and I didn't care. Oh, and there's a classic Boom Blocks level as well. And levels where you get the sugar in the coffee and cake on a plate. The sports stages were probably our favorite of the four stage packs. You have basketball, bowling, baseball, and billards. Stages involve you making baskets, dodging foam fingers, and hot dog carts. The billards levels were easily some of our favorite stages as well. It adds a whole new variety in gameplay that's built off of years of playing pool. Lastly, the lab stages add pipe challenges and drastically up the difficulty. There are obstacles that will get in your way and the levels change how you play. From how the ball moves, the number of balls you have, ball size, shape, and your controls will all be affected. You'll also see some trophies in the main menu. At first, you might look for requirements for locked trophies. They are unlocked by completing each course, so no hardcore PlayStation or Xbox achievement requirements are needed for these. After playing a ton of AAA games this year, this game hits that WarioWare-esque vibe you need from time to time. We mean classic WarioWare, not the party games that have come out on the Switch the past few years. While this game is one player, it's cute and filled with childlike humor. It's definitely a fun game, and it has its variety of challenges to explore. While it's definitely not for toddlers. Older kids ages 4 through 6 might need some help with a few levels, but some of these levels can even be challenging for adults. There are a few small things we wish we could have seen, but they don't affect gameplay at all. When changing levels, sometimes the gameplay changes as well, and it would be nice to see something like a prompt in WarioWare such as reach the end, race, hit the target, or something like that would be nice. Also, controls depend from level to level. Nothing drastic, so seeing what controls you're using instead of assuming would have been nice as well. The first several levels have command prompts that show you exactly how to play the game, and just would have been nice to see it consistently throughout. 
On the main menu, you will see that DLC is planned. And currently, we have not received word at this time of a price or timeline for it to be released. It took us about two hours to complete this game, which at a $20 price tag might seem steep to some people. But honestly, I've paid way more for worse movie experiences and bad dates in the past. So, it's a zero. We were definitely surprised by this game in a great way, mostly because we were expecting just mini golf, not this at all. We definitely recommend picking this one up or adding it to your wish list. And speaking of adding things, if you hadn't added us to your subscriptions, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave us a like as well. Have you heard of a Zuzu before? Is this something you might pick up? Let us know in the comments. This has been Craig with Out of Control Games. We know life, work, kids, and everything else might seem out of control this time of year. Don't let your gaming be.